Hello everyone and welcome. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create custom checkout pages for your WooCommerce website. So usually when we use WooCommerce, the page that we normally get looks like this. And I'm sure you can agree with me, this design here doesn't look really great. This is out of the box when you install WooCommerce. Now, it is very difficult to go in and customize this. Pretty much what you can do is perhaps maybe add a background color to this and pretty much that's it. So this is what your checkout page would look like. Now, with the technique that I'm going to show you, or rather with the plugin that I'm going to show you, you're going to end up with a checkout that looks like this. So what you notice here is we can go in and use our Divi Builder to go in and make our customizations. You can even add a video over here. You can add testimonials. You can add all sorts of things on your checkout pages. Now, I just went in and just did a quick thing over here just to show you like an offer ending, but you can add testimonials on this. You can add videos. You can add quite a lot of things on this page, but you're not really able to do on this standard checkout page that you get with WooCommerce. So over here, what else you can do is if you use the paid plugin that I'm going to be using in this tutorial, you're able going to go in here and even remove some of the fields that you don't need. Now, cases where you may need this are cases where let's say you're selling a digital product and you don't want to have all these shipping options here for a digital product. So this is where you would go in and customize it and just you know, strip it down and just have name and email address. Now, before we begin, I also like to remind you that if you buy Divi using my affiliate link, I will give you access to my web design formula course, a course that teaches you how to design professional looking websites with Divi. All right. So without wasting a lot of time, let's dive in and let's get started. So the first thing you want to do here is to, uh, of course, make sure you're running WooCommerce, it's absolutely free. So the plugin that's going to allow us to create our customized checkout pages is a plugin called Cartflows. Now this plugin is free, although they do have a paid, but the paid version gives you upsells and downsells and also further customizations to the fields of your checkout page. But I'm just going to show you what you can do with the free plugin. Okay, so now that I've installed Cartflows, the next step now is to go into the Cartflow settings and set up everything that I need in order for me to customize my checkout page. So I'm going to come over here to Cartflows and then I'm going to click on settings. So the very first thing you want to do is to make sure that you've set your templates here to Divi. And then over here, you want to add your global checkout. Now to add your global checkout, what you need to do is to come over here to flows. And then you just want to create a brand new flow. So you can just create one by just saying new, and then you can just add one of these templates. So these templates here are going to have a checkout page on there. So over here, you can see I've named this global checkout. And if I click here on this flow, you're going to notice that I have this global checkout. So when you install a template, it's going to have your landing page, checkout page, and thank you page. So what you can do is you can choose to only have this checkout page. But if you want that, when people buy on the website, they should go to a thank you page. You can also add a brand new step here and then choosing thank you. Okay, so here we have all these uh, thank you options. So you can go maybe with uh, this basic one here. You can just click import. So that means now when people go to your basic WooCommerce website, when they purchase a product, they're going to go to a custom checkout page and also a, a custom thank you page as soon as they completed the, uh, the payment process. All right, so you can see here it says thank you. But you know what? For this example, we're not going to go ahead and do this. I'm just going to delete that. So now what we need to do is to go in and customize this checkout. And to do that, we just want to click here on edit. So now that I've clicked on edit, I can now go in. You can see here, this is the short code for our form, but I can go in now and click on edit with DV Builder, which means I have now the power of the DV Builder to, to work on this. So let's see what we can do. So I'd already gone ahead and added a background here. I'll just mess about with this, but let's see what this looks like. So if I go in here, you can see there's nothing over here in the section and pretty much we, we just have the code. So if I come over here now to my section settings, let me snap this over to the left. I can go to the background here and add an image. So let's say I need to add an image here. I can go in and uh, let's have a look. Now, if I had an image of a credit card, I could go in and add it on there, but I'm just going to use this as an example here. I'm going to click upload. 
And then I'm also going to add a background here, but this time it's going to be black. And let's switch over here so we can see what we're doing. So you can see our image here is main on the main header. Now over here on the image, I'm going to change my blending mode to multiply. And then I'm going to go back and then just uh, add a bit of transparency so we can see a little bit of that image. Okay, that's looking great. The next step now is to come over here and add a single column. So in this column here, we're going to add some text. So here we can just let people know that we are on the checkout page. Okay, and then I can set this to heading one and then further customize this. So this is our text. I can go in now to design heading text, and then change this to pop-ins. I can change my color. Okay, so now you can see we have our checkout. Now, what we can also do here is we can add further things. So we can add a video here just to uh, perhaps convince people to or tell people why they really should buy your product. So that we can add here because as you can see, this now has become a fully fledged DV builder. So we can go in here, we can add uh, you know, a video, we can add a countdown timer and so on. But I'm not going to go ahead and do that. So I just want to show you how easy it is to go in and customize this. Okay, so... The next step now is to just save this because over here where it says checkout ID not found, this is where we have the code which is going to show the form. So let's take a look at this website. So I'm going to, I mean this page. So I'm going to exit the visual builder here. And now you can see we have a custom checkout page. Isn't that cool? So over here, as I mentioned, we can have a video. And then even here, we can also go in and make further customizations. Let me show you. If I go to edit step, this free Cutflows uh, plugin has quite a lot of features. If I scroll down here, see here that uh, we have our checkout offer. Now, these features that I'm going to show you here are features in the pro. You can't really go in and uh, do all these extra things on the, on the free one. So the free one just gives you the ability to go in and change your page and use Divi with it to, uh, to achieve different types of layouts. So let's say uh, I go in here. Let's go and edit with Divi one more time. So let's say I want to add an extra message here. I can just uh, go into my builder here. All right. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to add a countdown timer. So I'm going to click here on this uh, plus button and search for countdown. So here's my countdown timer. Then what I can do here is I can now further customize this. So I can say... Um, Offer ends in colon, and this is the time. So I can add my time here on the calendar. Then I can then further customize this by going to the background and removing the background like that. I can also go into the design here and go into title text. And I'm going to align this to the left like that and change my font here to Poppins. Then I'm also going to work on this text. So I'm going to scroll down here. So we have our numbers text here aligned to the left. In fact, this is not looking great. But anyway, uh, we'll be able to go in. So the number size, I can reduce this to whatever size that I want. I can add some spacing. And I can also go in and change my font here to Poppins. In fact, you know what? The spacing doesn't look good. All right, so you can see now I have this in place. And uh, you know what? That offer ends in. Let's change that text. Okay, so title text here, let's center it. And I'm also going to do the same for our numbers text. Let's just have everything all centered. So this is now our countdown timer. I can further go in and customize this to have a background so let's go ahead and do that so i'm going to come over here click on background and let's add a background color but we are not going to use that let's use white with some or i can even use black with some transparency there we go and then what i can further do here is to go into design i can go to border and give this some border radius and that looks okay Right, so I can save this. 
But now, before I save this, you know what? I can also reduce the size because this may be way too big. Um, so we can come over here to sizing and I can just reduce this down to about, let's go with 58%. I can center it. And now finally, we need to center this text over here. So let's go in and center it by coming over here to my settings and just center it like that. All right, so now if I do a quick preview, I can see this is my checkout page. I also have the offer here. And then finally, on the bottom here, we're going to have our form, which will show all our, all our fields. So let's exit the Visual Builder now. And there we go, we have our field. And I'm sure you can agree with me that if I were to compare this page here with this page, I mean, these are miles apart. This is pretty much way much better. And this one here, not so good. And uh, I also forgot to mention that we can also go in and um, further customize this in terms of the fonts and just to match our overall design of our page. But this is a check custom checkout page, which you can create using a free plugin called Cutflows. Now, here's the question. Let's say you want to remove some of these fields because perhaps maybe you are selling a product that does not need shipping. Now over here, definitely you can't change anything because this is pretty much uh, what comes out um, with uh, WooCommerce. So if you wanna change this now, this is, can only be done using the pro version of, um, of this plugin. So I'm gonna go in now and edit the step. And all I have to do now is to come over here and go to checkout fields. And I can go in now and enable field editor. And now you can see I have the ability now to go in and disable everything that I don't need here. So if you're selling a, a digital product, in most cases, you want to collect the, the first name and the email address and pretty much that's it. So here you're able to do that. I'll just drag this all the way to the top so that these are just next to each other. Now, if I click update and let's preview this in a new tab so I don't keep going in and out of uh, my design here, you can see now that I only have two fields here. But this additional info, if we don't need that, again, we can come over here. Additional information, I can uncheck that. Now it's gone. Now I can also add a coupon field if I need to, and I can add it as a collapsible coupon field, which just makes the design of our checkout page look much, much better. Right, so now that I've added this, uh, let's hit update. Oh, and there's one more thing. Uh, when we took a look here, we can see name is only going 50% of the way. And by the way, all that stuff that I've disabled is gone now. So over here, you can see it's going 50%. We can go in here and set this to 100%, which is nice, quick, easy fix. Uh, as I mentioned, we have the coupon field. Now, while we are here, while we are here, let's hit update so that we don't lose any of our information. Right, so over here now, if we take a look at this page, we can see it looks very, very clean. You can well, our PayPal details here. Now here where it says proceed to PayPal, we can actually go in and change the text here to, to say whatever it is that we wanna say. And this is the flexibility of the advanced plugin. So over here, I can go to checkout settings, where it says place order. I can change this to buy the course, like that. Now over here, I can also add enable cart editing on checkout. So which means if I hit update here and we take a look at our page, I'm just gonna refresh this. So remember that coupon code, we can come over here and it's collapsible, so we can add our coupon code here. Now, the reason why I like this is it just makes our layout really, really clean. All right, so now that we can see that we can design this this way, there's more items that we can do here. Let me show you. So back over here, if I go to edit step, I can go in and uh, change the layout of this checkout page. So over here, I can, um, I can come over here to checkout fields. I can add additional information. And over here on checkout settings, I can also enable or disable 
card editing. And let's take a look here, custom script. We can also add our custom tracking script if we need to on your checkout page here. So these are the sort of features that come with this paid version of card flows. But the most important uh, feature here is you are able to do upsells and downsells and so on, similar to what ClickFunnels can do. And this is why the price tag on the card flows Pro is $299 per year. So as you can see, it is quite expensive, but it does come in with a lot of features. You can fully customize your WooCommerce shop. In fact, after customizing it, you, you wouldn't even have an idea that it is running on WooCommerce. And that is the reason why I like it. So pretty much this is uh, all I have for you in this uh, tutorial. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and also don't forget to hit the subscribe and bell notification. By doing so, you'll be notified when I release new tutorials. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.